Hi, hello, hey, good morning. So today is going to be a long day. I'm going to bring you guys on my entire day today. So I apologize. <laughs> I have no idea what you're going to see in this video, but let's just do it. What a lazy baby. Wake up, honey bear. It's time to wake up. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. He's like, nope, let me sleep. I guess I'll let him keep sleeping then. Hi, baby. Good morning. I will be right back with your breakfast, honey. Hold on. I had to do something really quick. <laughs> Like help. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, starting my day, I have to prepare some meals for some of my babies. And here is how I do that. Oh, yes, my pinky promise. Okay, so right off the bat, beginning my day, I prepared three breakfasts. That is for my crow, that is for my dog, and that is for the little baby. All right, so let's go ahead and give the babies their breakfast. First up is Theo, and he loves his food. And you guys, look at these ants. Don't forget about them. They will come up in a future video. <laughs> so now here is my crow eating. And he is just such a character. Like, I need to like show him more because he's hilarious. He makes me laugh so much. And this is him eating, but like he was taking a bite and looking at me after every bite. That was adorable. And just, you guys will see more of him in the future, I promise. And now, to feed this little bundle of feathers, I will be talking more about her in the future. But for now, just enjoy her eating and making adorable little noises. So now, so now it's time for all the aquarium. What in the world? That is my crow. I'm trying to do this voiceover and he's like, not today. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. So now it's time to feed all the aquariums. Well, not the aquariums, but like the inhabitants inside. First, I am turning on all the lights and now I'm turning off the circulation pump for this one because there can't be any water flow or they won't be able to eat. So this is what I feed. I keep this like colony of brine shrimp. So I always have live brine shrimp for them. And in here I have my seahorses that eat live brine shrimp and a little cowfish. And there's like everything in this aquarium eats live among other things, but that's why they are living together. And just, you know, more on that later. Just for now, enjoy cute footage of them eating. <laughs>
okay so now for this aquarium okay so like right off the bat i thought my shrimp had died but then i realized that it molted so that's like the old skin and there he is looking brand new i don't know if you guys knew but shrimp shed well they molt their skin and here's the other inhabitant in here so this is a baby mantis shrimp they are one of the most amazing animals in the animal kingdom i have so much to say about them but not today but yeah he's a baby and he hides most of the time so i don't really see much of him unfortunately but he is cute and really cool so to feed him i come over here i look for a appropriately sized snail i pick him out and unfortunately i sacrifice him to him so i just drop one or two in there every day and he eats whenever he wants like i haven't really been able to like get him on camera eating but it's really cool because he picks them up and like hits them against the glass i will try and show you guys that in a future video Okay, so that was the feeding, basically, for the mini reef saltwater nano aquariums. Now let's talk about this big boy. You guys should be familiar with this if you've seen my past videos. Okay, so I pretty much am letting this swampy mess just be. Okay? Like, I literally want a swamp in my house. I think swamps are so beautiful. People usually think of swamps as like dirty, messy areas, nature areas, but there's like so much life in swamps and it's so beautiful and I feel like people don't give that enough appreciation. Especially in the aquarium hobby, like usually people, they want like the perfect aquascape with the perfect plants and the perfect everything. And that's pretty, but so is this, you know, I want to be different. So I'm just letting this become this and I like it. The glass is really dirty. It has hella algae and hella snail eggs. These are nearite snail eggs. I took out the nearite snails. They are actually over there in that mini nano marine setup. But I like I hated them, you guys. They lay these eggs under the water everywhere. They are on everything. They will never hatch because they need to be in brackish or salt water to hatch. So it's literally just a waste for them to lay them here. Oh, if you didn't know, nearite snails can, they can be freshwater or marine. Like, you can have them in either setup. So, yeah. Anyways, I had them here. They laid eggs everywhere. All these little white dots are snail egg. Well, nearite snail eggs. And it was so annoying. <laughs> like, I had to actually scrape them off of the glass with a blade. Because they're actually so stuck on there. Like, they're so sticky. And you can't just wipe them off. Like, you gotta scrape them off. And that's so annoying. So, that's out of here. Um, the plants are all doing really good. The glass is really dirty, so it's hard to see inside. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the plants are doing excellent. They've all taken over. The water quality is really good. There's some biofilm up here because I fed the fish. Like these new pellets I'm using, they're, they're kind of greasy. They're, they're very oily. I don't really like them. I'm not going to use them anymore. And they leave like this biofilm on the top surface of the water. So that's what that is. The water is super clear. The whole ecosystem is just thriving really well. And oh, this. Okay, so I put a potato back here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a potato in the sump and it rooted and it threw off all these like vines. And that is that was just weird and all. it was a cool experiment and I will probably keep doing it from this point forward. So growing a potato in your aquarium is super beneficial. It absorbs all these extra nutrients from the water and it helps remove nitrites, nitrates. Just, it's really awesome. So these are all apple snails, tons and tons of them because these guys decided they were so happy in here that they were gonna lay eggs everywhere for me and i let them hatch i could have scraped them off you guys know i was all about snails and snail eggs and snail egg population control and i know how to do all that but i just decided to let the eggs hatch which is why you can see so many snails this is a clutch of eggs that hatched this one is about to hatch this one hatched uh this one hatched over here we have several hatched Freshly laid, freshly laid, freshly laid. So there's snail eggs everywhere. And the reason why I'm letting them be is because I have some animals that actually do consume the snails. 
So I'm kind of using them as a food source right now. And yeah, so that's a quick update on this aquarium. And to feed everyone in this swampy mess, I dropped some pellets in for some of the fish and the snails. And then I also drop in some live brine shrimp for the pipefish. And that's pretty much all I do on the daily. Okay, so now it's me time. I am starving. I'm gonna get something to eat. So I was getting ready to dye my hair and then I realized I don't have a pair of gloves. So I'm currently on my way to go purchase some. Got them. So now I'm going to dye my hair because girl, look at these roots and the color. No. <laughs> so um, I actually want to have a, a heart to heart talk with you guys right now but I want to wait till after I bleach my hair because I don't want to be distracted talking to you guys while I'm bleaching my hair so I'll be back in like an hour or so so I'm going to let the dye rest for about an hour so while I do that I just want to take a few minutes and just kind of really just like express myself so if you just if you're just here for the animal content please 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 skip this part of the video and if you do want to listen then here i go so i guess i really just want to start out by explaining where i've been so i haven't been active here or on social media at all for the past year like i have made appearances here and there but but i haven't been posting anywhere really and that is because I moved out of my parents' house a year ago with a partner. So I am living with someone. I have been for about a year. It was very sudden. Like I knew this person, but we lived in different states. Every time I was in town, I would just kind of hit him up and we would like go out and do things. But we weren't a couple, we weren't exclusive, nothing like that. We were just having fun. So yeah. <laughs> So about a year ago, I was out here in Mexico City and I don't know, things just happened, okay? And we ended up like deciding to move in together out of nowhere. And of course, since it was so sudden and out of nowhere, our parents were not happy about it. They weren't very supportive at all. And um, we were pretty much on our own together, like not on our own, like like they were there for us, but like they weren't like there for a, you know what I mean? like there's a difference <laughs> so i've been focusing this whole year basically on like that part like growing that relationship and getting to know myself too so i wanted to like really focus on that and not so much on social media and being stuff so i haven't been myself online but i mean i'm still like animal person mother nature just not on camera which really helped actually it helped me prove to myself that i'm not doing all the animal things and i don't own all the animals that i own for content on the internet like it's really for me and because it's my passion and that that was a nice discovery <laughs> so you guys saw a lot of animals in this video that you i've never mentioned some of these are new some of these aren't but i just like haven't shown them so yeah um anyways i'm going back a year because like the house we live in right now we rent so the lease is up a year later and we're actually moving to a new location so it's like this whole situation has really been making me kind of like think about what I've been doing for a whole year and um, where I want to go moving forward. So not gonna lie, a lot of this past year I was just sad and depressed because I just felt kind of alone really. My parents weren't being like super supportive 
like they weren't really talking to me and like I moved to a different state I'm in a new city and I don't have the people in my life that I would have regularly like the people I would see and that I was used to are in my life right now not like before and it's just like everything's new so yeah dealing with all that and then with a partner in my life who not gonna lie I didn't really get to know that person all that well because like we weren't a couple and got to know each other before moving in together so when we moved in together it was like oh <laughs> this is real you know like that's when I really showed him my imperfections and I got to know his and it's been hard but I've also had an amazing year I've done things and met people and like I wouldn't take it back at all like I've grown as a person this whole year like I've laughed harder than ever cried harder than ever it's been a real journey <laughs> and I'm happy with where I am and where I'm headed so yeah that that's a little bit of wow i never tell you guys things like this so this is new <laughs> don't know how i feel about posting this on the internet but okay i'm gonna do it because i love you guys and i want to show you guys more of like me like who i really am like like steph is a part of me but like it's like a perfected version of myself like like you guys i've been a mess this whole video before before I filmed, I would do my hair and my makeup and my nails always had to be done and like the perfect falsies and you know, I like that version of me and she's not fake, she's real. Like that's the version of me I would rather the world see, but I'm also this who you've been seeing all day. So yeah, anyways, what's coming? So right now we are currently moving out of this house. This house is nice, I'm gonna miss it. I have amazing memories here and it was my first like grown up like place, you know? <laughs> yeah, this house just welcomed me to adulthood. I like it, but it's a little small for my liking and we found another place, I really love it. So in the next three or four days, we're going to be completing the move that's why you see like some of these animals in enclosures that are not ideal. My crow is all caged up and he's, he doesn't live there, I promise you guys. It's been a little hectic moving with animals and so many of them, but we're getting it done. And at this new house, I just like have so many projects that involve DIYs and animals and like, like it really inspires me to be creative. So uh, this next year of my life, I uh, really just wanna work on my personal career again. Like I took a break, I really needed it. I've done so many things. I'm happy with my year I took off and now I just like, I feel like I'm, I wanna come back and be a better version of Steph J. So yeah, this is day one of year two of my new adult life and I just want to share it with you guys so thank you for listening and thank you for being here like you guys I've been so absent and I don't deserve you guys being so loyal and understanding and you guys are so sweet like I see all the comments asking me if I'm okay I've seen your messages asking me where I'm at when there's gonna be a new video out honestly thank you guys so much if you have any questions for me, please never be afraid to leave them down below in the comments. If I don't answer you directly below your comment, it probably means I will touch on that topic in a future video. So yeah, thank you for being here and I hope you like this next version of me that I'm going to be showing you guys from this point forward. Okay you guys, so yesterday I could not continue vlogging my day because I ended up having to pack all the animals in the aquariums to move them out here to the new house. We basically decided to like finish moving faster than we had anticipated, so I am at the new place. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I'm doing. Okay, so right as you walk in, this is what you see. And oh my gosh, you guys, I have this like plant obsession again. 
Like it's starting, but I feel it like growing. I used to be super into plants. When I moved out here, I kind of like stopped keeping plants, but I started again and I can tell it's gonna be like really bad. Like I'm just gonna invade this entire space in plants. I just know it. That over there, our bedroom, this, the animal room slash guest bedroom, and that's a bathroom. So here's my baby. Look at where he's at, poor baby. So his cage actually hasn't arrived yet, so he's going to have to hold on in this tiny little cage just a little while longer. <laughs> Sorry, baby. But honestly, he doesn't seem to mind, and I did let him out and free roam earlier, so he's had his exercise today. Okay, so this right here, these are all the animals from the aquariums, all the ones that you saw earlier in the video. And over here, we have like plants and a couple more marine invertebrates and everything from the aquariums is literally right here i'm gonna be setting them up again tonight i might do like a time lapse of me doing it so here is my little swamp i'm so sad it look look how bad it looks you guys so i drained all of it I had to dig out all the plants from the roots. I was so disappointed that I had to do that because all the roots were like just so in there deep. They were very established, very like, like they were thriving and I completely interrupted the process, but oh well. But I still plan to keep this as like a weird looking swamp thing. <laughs> the other mini reef tank will probably go right here, but that hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> and over here, this is where I'm going to be leaving the seahorses. This is just some really thin styrofoam to avoid scratching the countertop. I'm gonna trim it so it's not gonna look like this, don't worry. I wanted it over here, but there's actually nowhere to plug in anything. Like there's this, but it's just like a light switch. That looks fine, I like it over there too. And just to keep the video short, I'm going to give you guys a really quick tour of the animal room. I love the ceiling here. So far, we've only brought a few like holding tanks and these acrylic terrariums. I have some like weird <laughs> things in here, you guys. That is Scarlet. She is my black widow spider and she's beautiful, you guys. Look at how thick she is. She's got a big badonk donk. <laughs> and every one of these acrylic boxes has like a weird arachnid. <laughs> oh, you guys, let me show you guys this. Here, I have a jump, I'm, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Here, I have a jumping spider and she actually laid eggs and the babies hatched. I'm so excited about that. We're gonna have a bunch of jumping spider babies really, really soon. They actually stay with their mom like for a while after they hatch. So we're not gonna like do anything with them yet. We're gonna just leave them alone for now. <laughs> Here I have a hamster that a subscriber gave to me recently at a event I was in. So here's a few clips from that day and this little girl was just the sweetest. I adored her. So she saw me at that event I was invited to go to and she saw me there. She went home to go get the hamster and like she made her mom drive her home. Her mom told me all this. And then she's like, okay, now drive me back with the hamster because I want her to have it. And that was just so sweet. It was really out of nowhere. I was not expecting to receive a hamster that day, but I accepted her and all I had was this cage. I know it's not appropriate. Don't worry, you guys, I'm aware of that. Hi. Hi. You're so cute. Hi. I do have some really cool cage design ideas that's actually one of the diys i want to start out with in this channel but for now she is in here i'm sorry <laughs> her little wheel makes noises poor baby so over here this is the closet but i'm giving this whole side to my dog because like he's the baby and he deserves it <laughs> so these are some of his outfits and 
yeah, clothes. There's more over here, and we haven't brought the rest of it up. Then this side. So these are some new terrariums that we bought recently, but we bought them right before moving. So I decided to not decorate them and set them up yet, because then it was gonna make it more complicated to move them out here with like dirt and plants and stuff. But now that they're here, we can go ahead and set these up now. And I have four tarantulas that are gonna be going in these, if you're wondering what these are for. So that's what's here for now. Tomorrow we're gonna be bringing the rest of the reptiles and stuff in. So you guys will be seeing them here eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. So much that's my crow making noise. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys again really, really soon. I'm really excited for what's coming and let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see on this channel. Love you guys, bye.